Hi, I'm Carolyn Braden, and I'm going to show you how to make a baby diaper cake. It is such a good gift to give to anybody that's getting ready to have a baby, but they're really, really easy to make, too. So, first, got to start off with some plain diapers. You can have some decor on them if you'd like. Um, I just got mine from Target. I got a size 2, and that way the mother can enjoy them a little bit longer before she has to take down the baby cake. So, all you do is you start off with your baby diaper like this. I'm going to roll it facing inwards, that way the diaper won't be all messed up when the mother has to take it out of the cake. So I'm going to start like this, and I'm going to curl it tightly inward. I made sure to start off with the opening of the diaper and roll towards where it's closed. After you get it like this, then you take a rubber band, because you have to have rubber bands for this, and you just simply Go like this. Okay, one. after you have all of your diapers bound up with rubber bands, you want to start off by making the layers of the cake. You can make your cake layers as big as you want or as small as you want. It's really up to you. I'm making my cake. It's about a medium-sized cake. It's a three-tier cake, and it has quite a few diapers in it, so it's still a really good gift to give to a mother. So I'm going to pick out eight of my diapers that I've rolled out to start for the top of the cake. I want to make sure that all of my rubber bands are towards the center of the diaper just like this. And make sure they're not all like wrapped like this. This makes it look really messy and when you do the overall design of your cake you want it to look really nice. So I make sure that I have all my rubber bands towards the center of each roll and make sure that all of the rubber bands, like this one's really messy, this doesn't look good. So I'm going to put it back up here just like that. Alright, so I've got eight diapers. I'm going to start making the top layer of the cake. It just simply goes like this. You want to start standing your diapers up and you may need a helper for this. I've done this before and I can pretty much figure out how to do it if they all start falling apart. But having a helper sometimes does work a lot. So I'm going to put all my diapers into a circle form. One in the middle and seven around the outer edge of the cake just like this. Sometimes they move a little bit and you can squish them around. They're just baby diapers. And it looks like this. So, I want to pick a rubber band, um, maybe a medium sized one. Let's find one that will fit around all of these. No, I don't think that will work. That will probably snap on me, which I had that happen yesterday. It does not feel good. This one feels pretty good. So what I want to do is maybe fit this band around all of these diapers like so, and then you can twist the diapers around to make sure that the end of the rolls are facing the inside of the cake. Okay, I got all my tears done, and I went ahead and put them together, but I'll go ahead and tell you how many diapers are in each tier so you can kind of figure out. After you saw the first one done, the rest of them are a breeze. So in this top one, we had eight, and I put the rubber band around it and made sure they're in the center. In this next one, there are seven in the center, and I've written all this down so I would remember. Seven in the center of it, and then there are 12 diaper rolls on the outside of the center for this one, and I've stuck this together with a rubber band. Now, I made sure I bought the package with rubber bands that are all different sizes. We've got that size. I've got, like, giant rubber bands, and for this one, I did the big giant rubber band, and I did it around it twice, and then that way it's really sturdy. Then on this giant bottom layer of the cake, um, I wrote this down too so I wouldn't forget. There are eight in the center. It's like this is what the middle looks like. And then around that, I made sure that I got about 13 around that. And as I built this up, because I didn't want all these diapers falling down as I got the rubber band around it, I did the middle first and put a rubber band. And then I did the next section and put a rubber band around it. And then the outer side, this outer ring has 19 diapers on it. So there's a total of 40 in this one. There's a total of 19 in this one. And there is a total of 8 in the top. And that should do you for the layers. Okay, now we get to start with the fun part of it, which is the decorating of the baby shower cake. I went to a craft store and I just got some cake rounds. These are thick cake rounds. You can do it with plain flat cardboard, but I just thought that these looked a little bit nicer. And they're already covered with a silver foil, so it'll give a good overall look to your cake. So I want to start by putting my bottom layer onto this. 
This bottom one is 14 inches, so that's about the size circle that you're going to need to have a little bit showing around all the edges of the cake. So I'm going to center it on there. Now, this shower that I'm doing this for is for my sister-in-law who's having a baby girl. So I have chosen to do the shower in all themes of pink. So I'm going to decorate this in pink. You can do this however you want. You can go online and look at what other people's are. Some people even, even choose to take out pieces of the dip of the cake. They choose to take out layers of the cake and they put in rolls of baby socks and baby shirts and they put gifts inside of this cake um, to give it a different kind of a look. And it's up to you. I'm just doing a strain on baby diaper cake because these are centerpieces for the food tables. So I'm going to put this in here together and I need to get some ribbon. So I'm going to get up over here and I'm going to get ribbon. My ribbon. I chose to get kind of thick ribbon. That way it would cover all of the rubber bands. So I've already cut a piece that will be perfect for this bottom layer. So I'm going to put it over the rubber band like so and make sure that it's covering all of the ribbon. Now I have chosen to use a hot glue to seal this shut. It's totally up to you if you want to tie a bow instead, it's up to you. But I'm going to hot glue it. I'm not going to hot glue it to the diaper, I'm going to hot glue it to the other ribbon. So I'm going to pull this back. I've already heated up my mini glue gun. And I'm going to put some on this other side of the ribbon, just like so. And then I'm going to pull this ribbon. Oops, and that may happen. If that happens, you just pick it up and you go again. I'm always doing this. And I'm going to seal it down shut. And since I lost a little bit of glue to my table here, I'm just going to peel that off. Who cares? I'm an artist. My husband knows if I make a mess, it's just who I am. And I'm going to make sure that that stays nice and tight. Now, I've got all three layers done. And I decided that just the plain one ribbon wasn't enough to cover the rubber bands. If you find a thicker ribbon, one that you can't see through, um, the rubber bands will cover a little bit easier. But I still saw the rubber bands and I was not happy with it. So I decided to take a thinner silk ribbon or satin ribbon and put it around the diaper cake layer on top of the other one. And I think it looks pretty good. Now, after I tied them into the bow, here's a trick that I learned way back when I was a cheerleader. I could never figure out why all the girls had their bows in their hair, like, so perfectly cut. And I could never, no matter how many times I tried to cut them, they always frayed at the ends, and it was always crazy looking. So what I figured out, what they taught me, is to take a flame torch or a lighter or anything that flames up, and to make your ends of your ribbons really nice, this can be tricky because you don't want to set the ribbon on fire and you don't want it to smell because it will smell if you leave this on way too long. So what I've done to make all of my ribbon ends nice, crisp, and clean is I've taken my flame torch and I'm going to show you with this piece of ribbon if you have an end that's kind of frayed a little bit and to seal it off you just very, very carefully place it into the flame and it pretty much puts like a plasticky end on it. Now I have all of my layers together. Now, to keep it from tipping over and from your layers from just falling apart as you're carrying it into the shower, you just need to get some simple wooden dowels. You can buy this at any craft store. Um, look for them in the cake supplies place because that's where you'll probably find them. And all you want to do is you want to stick your wooden dowel through the diaper after you get it into place and kind of wiggle it making sure you're not puncturing any of the diapers as you're going through. And just push it all the way down through and it makes it from falling over as you're carrying it in places. So I think that looks pretty good so far. I've aligned all of my ribbons up. This is the back of the cake, and this would be the front of the cake.